Hey guys, even here, so what you're looking at right now is the prejudging of Arnold Classic UK, Classic Physique Division. You will see the 212 as well in this video, but the prejudging of the open division is starting in about an hour from now, and I will post that as well as soon as it happens. Now, unfortunately, for whatever reason, this show has no live stream, even though it's probably one of the best shows of the entire year, there is no live stream, you can't watch a live stream, but at least they're allowing people to take their own videos and photos, so there is a lot of content that you can see, and I thought it would be entertaining for you guys to see something before the open starts. So, classic physique, I think the biggest surprise at this show is Wesley Vissers. Let me rewind this back, let's check his physique out. So I feel like this is the best Wesley we have ever seen, I think he actually made some serious improvements. Now his conditioning is not great, but it's decent, however he grew a lot, this guy is a monster in this lineup, I wanna show you a lineup comparison in a moment, you're gonna see how big he actually is, and how much he actually reminds us of Arnold Schwarzenegger himself, he's like an Arnold 2.0, basically improved version of Arnold, without super dominant, you know, like chest and biceps, but like he's very complete, too, he has a lot of similarities, look at his physique, wow, very, very classic, me personally, I wouldn't complain if he won this show, I don't mind that his glutes, his hamstrings and his lower back aren't super dialed in, because this is not a bodybuilding show, it's not a glute competition, it's a classic physique, lines, classic lines, shape, symmetry, presentation, all those things matter, and I think in that regard, he is the most complete classic physique competitor here, here is Michael the bull, he's actually last year's classic physique champion, so he's defending his title over here, he's definitely way more shredded than Wesley, a lot more shredded, you're gonna see from behind especially, his glutes are peeled, his lower back is cut to shreds, but again, this is classic physique, it's not a bodybuilding show, it's not a glute competition again, and even though Michael doesn't have like the prettiest face, the best looking haircut, he has receding hairline, he's obviously balding, and those things kind of matter in classic physique, like how many bald white guys do you have in Mr. Olympia in top 10? Like not many, if any. I don't think it matters as much as in, in men's physique, but I think it still matters. Even that considered, I would not mind if this guy won. His physique also, he's not as classic, classic shape-wise as Wesley, for example, but he has a small waist, great conditioning, and I wouldn't complain if he won. And this guy is like in between, he has pretty classic shape, he has better conditioning than Wesley, prettier shape than Michael, and he has an amazing front double bicep, you're gonna see it in a second, but uh, his tan, his polish, his uh, oil was not very good, you're gonna see it in comparison, so I think he fades away, I don't think he's gonna win, but look at his front double, look at this, how aesthetic is this, wow, right? Now let's take a look at the first call out, from what I'm seeing, I'm pretty sure Wesley is at least in top 3, and in my opinion, he seems to be in top 2, I think it's between him and Michael. The guy on the left next to Wesley, I'm not sure what his name is, he looks really impressive, but I think he would do better in 212 because he's really big and round and I don't think he belongs here. He is really impressive, but I think classic physique is something else. I think it's between uh, Wesley and Michael, so as you can see, Wesley is bigger, he's bigger than everybody here, he looks like a monster, but he's not as conditioned, not as Michael and Kirali on the right, he didn't do a great job with polish, like with oil, with the glaze, you know, so he doesn't look as conditioned, but I think he is very well conditioned, I think he's more conditioned than Wesley, but he doesn't look like it, and as you can see, Wesley is huge and he's freaking strong, yeah, I mean, Michael has a trouble holding the pose because uh, Wesley is pushing him, he's big, he's strong, he looks very dominant in this lineup, and he really looks like Arnold, and this is Arnold Classic after all, but the judges don't care about that, I don't think, I'm not sure whether they'll go with conditioning of Michael or classic pretty looking lines of Wesley, as you can see right here they switch them around, but I still think Wesley and Michael are fighting for that first spot, I could be wrong, I mean I don't think Wesley's gonna go lower than third, maybe Laszlo Kirali is going to edge him out, look at his front double, look at how aesthetic this is, but look at the legs, he's not even flexing them, you can't see any separation, he's conditioned but his presentation is not very good, he's posing and his color, his polish, it's not great, so the judges will punish him for that, in my eyes it's between Wesley and Michael, it just depends on whether the judges will go for classic lines or conditioning, I think it's very close, and uh, for me it's very hard to decide, whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section.
Moving on to 212, and yeah, in 212 we actually have a classic guy, the guy that didn't make the weight and had to do the 212, that's Peter Molnar. But guys, remember, Peter Molnar was a bodybuilder, I think he was doing bodybuilding up to 80 kilos, up to 90, something like that, for a long, long time in IBB, in European IBB. And he made a lot of money from winning all these shows. He's known in Europe for that. He opened a huge gym, the Freezer uh, Gym, Peter Molnar Gym in, in, in Budapest. He's like, uh, like the richest bodybuilder that made the most amount of money from winning shows. So he was a bodybuilder for the longest time. It's only recently that he switched to Classic Physique since it became so popular in IBB Pro League. But he was known as, as a bodybuilder. So that's why he's doing so well. He might be in top 3 possibly top five in this show yeah you can see david henry as well i didn't even know that he was competing that he was prepping for this show but apparently he's up there he's also like in top five ahmed verdani uh, actually looks good he didn't look this good at texas or tampa so he improved i have no idea what happened to dean white this guy was talked about on fuad abiyad's podcast as like the potential future mr olympia champion in 212 he won portugal pro he's going to the mr olympia he was supposed to do the actually he did this show the arnold classic uk but he was supposed to do very well to win this show but i can't see him in the first call out i saw this on his story so in this video, he doesn't look bad, something is off with his chest, maybe it's gyno, I don't know, but like his conditioning looks okay, he looks relatively big, I just couldn't see him in that in that top callout, maybe he was like on the far left or right, so the, 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 the cameraman didn't catch him um, in the frame, so we don't see him because of that, but he was definitely not in the middle of the callout in this video that I got. If you guys are watching this show live, tell me what do you think about the Dean White, how good did he look and why is he not here, or am I missing him, maybe I can't see him, maybe he changed the color of his trunks or shaved his head uh, before, this, before he stepped on the stage, I don't know, but I can't see him. David Henry actually looked pretty good, I thought this guy was retired, but apparently he's still competing, uh, I don't know if you guys even remember who he is, but he was a star, he won the 212, I think the first year they had a 202 class, so yeah he looks good and uh, peter molnar actually did pretty well considering that he was supposed to compete in classic physique oh there's dean on the left i didn't see him before so he's there he's in the first call out but i don't think he's going to be like in the top spots he's going to be probably like top six obviously because he's not in the middle so it is what it is that's gonna do it guys for this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope it's something at least before the the open pre-judging starts as soon as it happens i will post it on this channel so guys subscribe stay tuned thank you so much for watching all the best guys and bye bye